It's so hard to grab someone's attention nowadays and the first thing that people see in your videos is your intro. That's why it's quite important for your intro to be as interesting and attention grabbing as possible so that people will be interested in what you're about to show them. In this video I'll show you how to create a 3D intro with a nice 3D reflection of the floor. That could be a very nice intro say for a gaming channel. Hey my name is George from Spritzima Graphics. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and hit the like button if you enjoy this kind of content. So without further talking, let's jump straight to the tutorial. Let's have a little preview before we proceed to the tutorial. So this is what we'll be creating, of course. So let's create a new composition. We're going to name it render as this will be our main render comp. Click OK. And here... You can either use text or logo or depends what you want to animate in. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'll be using a Valorant logo, PNG. You can Google it. This is the first thing that comes up. Let me add fill so we can see the logo. Make it white. Here you can adjust the size uh, as you see it fit. And also you can adjust the position. Well, preferably you want it to be aligned in the center. And I'm going to drag it a bit to the top like that. So once you're happy with the selection and placement of your logo, right click, recompose, make sure to select move all attributes and let's name this comp logo, click OK. Then let's select the logo, go to layer, auto trace, and here pretty much copy my settings that you see on your screen. This will work for the majority of logos and for the text as well. So the principle is all the same. Click OK here. And this will create a bunch of masks. So if we hit U now, we'll see a lot of masks and a lot of keyframes. But we don't need keyframes. Let's actually get rid of all the keyframes. And we, all we need is masks. Okay, so we'll be adding Saber plugin on top. So if you don't have Saber plugin, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a free plugin. And one of the best free plugins you can get for After Effects. Honestly, I would definitely recommend you to get the plugin. It's free, an official plugin for Video Copilot. So without further talking, let's add Saber plugin onto the logo. And we'll need to adjust a couple of settings here. So first, let's go to Customize Core and for the core type, select Layer Masks. So now, boom, you can see that our auto trace layers are acting as paths for our Saber plugin. And here you have many, many different presets, which one of my favorites, Arc Re Reactor, has a really nice high energy vibe to it, kind of look. And also, I like to select the purple color for the Valorant logo. Okay, so, well, once you select the preset, uh, they go, go to the beginning of your timeline. And here we'll need to set start size to 0 and start offset to 100. Then create keyframes for mask evolution, end size and the end offset. Go to 2 seconds. Click, select the logo, click U to see the keyframes. And here, let's... Bring end offset to zero. All right, then go to say six seconds and uh, create keyframes. So then go to eight seconds. So let's uh, set end offset to 100 and end size to zero. And for the mask evolution cycle, set it to two or either three, depending on how quick you want your animation to look like. And this is quite a heavy effect. You might want to drop the re render resolution to see the preview. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment, and nicely fades out. And select the end keyframes, all three of them, and press F9 to ease ease the keyframes. Also, you can select this keyframe here, press F9 to ease ease that as well. So, as of the main intro animation is done. Okay, now let's get started with creating that 3D reflection. First step would be to select your logo and turn it into a 3D layer by clicking here, like that. Let's actually select your logo, press Control D or Command D if you're in a Mac, and to duplicate it, let's select the bottom logo, or the bottom layer, and rename it to Reflection, to stay organized, because we always label our layers. And select your logo, then go to select the uh, Rotation tool, and rotate your logo upside down like that. Then select the Selection tool, and drag this logo down like that. And we don't see a reflection uh, bit because we need to select both logos and set the mode to screen. 
Okay, so now we can ha we can see the reflection. But we're not done yet. We need our floor. And for the floor, honestly, any type of like a texture or even any type of photo PNG will do it. Yeah, but I'll include this uh, pattern that I'm going to use here in the project file. So you can download it and you can use it. Why not? It's just a, a free fractal noise pattern that I use for floors. And honestly, it works perfectly. I really like how it looks. So that's why I'm going to keep using this. Okay, so bring your floor and turn your floor into a 3D layer. Again, select this uh, rotation tool and like just rotate your floor like that. Okay, then grab the selection tool and drag your floor down like like so. Right click, new camera, 28 millimeter camera. Click OK and let's adjust our floor to so it's not like it's only covering the bottom part that's how we want it to be okay so let's add an effect called levels so uh color correction levels add it to your floor set gamma to 0 0.75 this will darken it a bit and also search for the effect motion tile and add it to the floor make sure to Select mirror edges for the output width, set it to 300, output height, set it to say 500. Right. Then select your logo, right click, recompose. Let's get the name floor, why not? Okay, and now we can actually go ahead and hide the layer because we don't need it anymore. Right click, new uh, adjustment layer. Let's call this compound. It will make, make sense in a bit and place the compound adjustment layer in between the logo and the reflection and bring your floor place it above the, the compound adjustment layer Then go to effects and presets search for compound blur and apply this to the compound adjustment layer okay we can see some effect going on but we're not done yet so the blur map layer to floor and now boom you're getting this nice 3d reflection of the floor and you can play around with the maximum blur you know, the harder it is, you know, the better you can see the texture. I usually set it to 180. That works fine, but you can experiment with it, of course. Okay, well, let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's call this Glow. And let's add Glow to this layer, of course. Good old Glow. It will be under Stylized Glow. Set Glow Threshold to 50%. And glow radius to 1000, really high. Set glow intensity to 1.6. And then go ahead, select the glow adjustment layer, press T for opacity, and set opacity to 50% so it's not too bright. Okay, so we can go ahead and preview what we have at the moment. Now let's start adding more effects to kind of finalize our intro. But before we do that, we need to animate our camera. So go to the beginning of your timeline, select your camera, press P for position, create a keyframe, set Z position to minus 1500, go to eight seconds. That's where our animation ends. And set the Z value to minus 1100. This will make the title animate and zoom in, as you can see. But you can see that our floor isn't moving. In order to fix that, we need to Select our camera, press Ctrl C to copy the camera, go into the floor layer and paste your camera here. Make sure you are at the beginning of your timeline so the keyframes all match. And now if we go back, you can see the floor is moving with the title. So that's cool. Now let's select everything we have here. Right click, pre-compose and let's call this intro. Okay. First, let's add a new solid of this BG, make sure it's black and place it underneath our titles. Next, let's create a new uh, adjustment layer. Here we'll be adding a bunch of adjustment layers, like five in total, like with different effects for each. Let's call this a blur. And let's add an effect called directional blur. Add it to the blur layer. Set bl blur length to 300 and direction to, say, oops, to 90 degrees. And then select them, mm, set the mode to lighten and the 
set opacity to something like 55%. Okay, next new adjustment layer, all this noise. And let's add noise to this noise adjustment layer. Set amount to 12% and check use color noise. Right, uh, next new adjustment layer. Let's add curves. Uh, go to effects and presets, search for curves and apply it to the curves adjustment layer. Create that slight S curve to sort of bring out the contrast a bit. Right, next new adjustment layer. And let's call this unsharp. Okay, let's call, let's search for unsharp mask. And this will make it more or sharper. Yeah. Amount 75, radius 25, uh, threshold 20. Okay, that should be fine. And the last adjustment layer will be, uh, let's call this uh, gradient. And let's add gradient ramp. Oh, yep. Yeah. Like that, and make sure to set ramp shape to radial ramp. Swap colors, bring the start ramp to this corner, or actually, you can do any corner you like. I'll, I'll, I'm just used to using this left corner, left top corner, and set the start color to well, first, let's set the mode to uh, lighten. And now, let's what I usually like to do, I grab this. Uh, the I actually so go to the colors and here just pick the color that of your lo of your intro your logo okay and just make it darker go and make it darker like that okay and here you can see this gives our scene a lot more depth and a bit of variety in colors you can play around with the settings but honestly this is as far as it goes and there's not really much more to it. Yeah, you can blur out the bottom layer a bit so it looks more like a reflection. But, well, honestly, it looks cool in my opinion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our tutorial about creating a 3D intro with a nice 3D reflection of the floor. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and also please consider subscribing to my channel. That really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.